What's going on everybody? Today's video, we're gonna be making some E46 carbon fiber hoods. Now I just got done doing a run of four of these. I don't do a lot of body panels. So since I was doing a run of four of these, I figured I would kind of do a time-lapse video of these again. I did a time-lapse video of our Corvette hood, and I'll put a tag of that up here if you want to see that. That was a pin-on hood, so it was just kind of like a top layer. So they're obviously much easier, because I'll, I'll show you what we got going on with these. So you can see the underside. We have a partial inner. And the reason we did a partial inner is kind of twofold. By the time you get to a full carbon fiber hood, I'll put another tag up here of a video I did where you can kind of tell if your part is a full carbon part, uh, as you'll see me make these, or a common trick that a lot of companies use is in the mold. So there's the mold to make the hood right there. They'll lay up one piece of carbon and then back it with fiberglass and then like and then they'll sell it you know marked up as a carbon fiber hood even though it's a fiberglass hood with one layer of carbon so uh watch that if you're interested in that so again being a full race car weight is always a concern um so you can see we do have a little core material right here you'll see me lay all this up again we didn't have to worry about a hood latch on these again race cars pretty much every series out there mandates that you have to have hood pins so once this is on the car and you put the hood pins on it with the partial underside and the two hood pins roughly like evenly spaced towards the front you know the hood's plenty strong but you get to retain the hinges which is nice the other reason uh, if you watch a lot of my videos you know i go to the wind tunnel a lot putting a set of louvers on this hood since there's no structure you really got to worry about you know you can just kind of take your pick of what louvers you want makes installing louvers uh, very easy as well so anyways enough chat with the hoods we're gonna hop to the time-lapse and I'll kind of do some narration through it but otherwise enjoy
All right, so I'm gonna go over my setup real quick. So you can see we have our epoxy in our resin cup going down to our inlet line with spiral wrap across pretty much the whole length of the bottom. One thing I gotta point out is if you do this method, it's nice because you never have to worry about air getting sucked in if the hose is coming over the top. You can't always get to the bottom of a regular cup. One negative, in a situation like this where the mold, the inlet is lower, so if we come down, you can see how the inlet is lower than the cup, and you'll get what's called ballooning. And ballooning is, as you can see, see how we're getting a buildup of epoxy? in the bag so it's filling up like a balloon because just the weight of the gravity is pushing it in faster than it can flow through the whole part so pretty simple pinched it off let it kind of suck this down because that epoxy will obviously still just make it into the part i just had it open a little bit too much i need to slow down the infusion otherwise it's a pretty standard infusion up here we have our three vacuum lines i do three just in case it never hurts to have more vacuum lines also as you can see the material stops here but we have plenty of resin break up to the vacuum line so on their time lapse you'll see the epoxy move through the flow net which is this red stuff it'll move through the flow net pretty quickly and it'll really slow down it'll slow down when it gets to the end of the net and hits the carbon and then really slow down when it gets to just the peel ply so air can still make it through but it's really hard for epoxy so that way if it if it infuses kind of like crooked or like wants to go up one side faster than the other you know it'll kind of just even out and get to the end you know nicely also this is obviously real time now and you can see how slow it goes once it really starts getting towards the top. So, looks like it's barely moving. Time lapse will show you that I, it obviously is moving. We're still pinched off and you can see, so see how that ballooning is already gone? You know, any extra epoxy just got already pulled through the part so we can crack our line back open. Just not as much as it was. Uh, gotta control that flow a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're good to go. We're just gonna kind of keep going at the moment. Uh, it's been about It's been about 40 minutes to get to there um, It always goes slower as it gets through the part. This will probably be about an hour and a half infusion to make it all the way up um, So, you know if you do something this big mix your epoxy ratios to give you plenty of time to do the infusion Another trick, you could do like a second infusion line, which would really speed it up, but then you gotta worry about print through. It's, you know, a little bit beyond this video of just making a hood.